Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithbin.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a professional email address using your blog's domain name and also show you how to configure an autoresponder email. Now, this is actually an updated version of my previous email tutorial because Bluehost recently made some updates to their backend customer portal that changed the way you set up a free email address using your domain. And I've been getting a lot of emails and comments about this, so the following video is an updated version of my previous tutorial that will show you how to set up your free email address using your blog's domain name. Now, one of the many benefits of having a WordPress blog hosted by Bluehost is that you can quickly create a professionally branded email address using your blog's domain name. Instead of using a personal email address from gmail.com or yahoo.com, Bluehost's webmail allows you to create an email address at your domain. And like I said in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating a professional email address for your blog's domain, and also show you how to set up an autoresponder so that you can establish good rapport and customer service with your audience. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you'll wanna do is log into your Bluehost account. And you can access your account by visiting bluehost.com and clicking on login in the primary navigation menu. And one thing to note is to be sure that you have the hosting login button selected and then enter your username and password and click the login button. And this will take you to the new and improved Bluehost portal. Now your screen may look a little different than mine if you just created your site, but no worries, the steps we're gonna perform are the exact same regardless of what your backend looks like. Okay, so instead of clicking on the email and office tab, I want you to click on the advanced tab on the left-hand side of the screen. And this will bring you to your Bluehost C panel. And think of this as the control panel for the backend of your site and your web hosting server. Now, if you're brand new to the cPanel, it may seem somewhat overwhelming, but once you learn your way around, it's pretty easy to navigate. Plus, we're only concerned with setting up our email address, so it's not gonna be that bad. Okay, so to create your email address, under the email section, click on email accounts. And this will bring you to the email account management page. Now, you'll probably notice that you already have a default email account set up, and this was automatically set up whenever you created your web hosting account, and its sole purpose is to catch unrouted mail. Now, the default account's username and password are the same as your Bluehost account's login. It can't be deleted, and it has no quota. So, if you're wondering what that is, just know that it's supposed to be there, but we wanna create our own personalized email address, and this is how you're gonna do that. So, to set up your email, Click the Create button. And this is where we'll begin to create our domain's email account. Now the first thing you wanna make sure of is that you have the correct domain selected from the domain dropdown. This will be the domain that the email account is associated with. So make sure you have the right one selected. Next, you'll wanna create your new email account username and your username is what your email address will be. So in the field where it says enter your email address's username, type in your new account username. Now you have endless options when choosing an email account name, but remember that this is going to be the email account associated with your blog, so try to keep it professional and to the point. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use info at binstravelblog.com. There we go. Next is the password and you have the option of creating your own password, but you can also have Bluehost generate a secure password for you instead. I recommend letting Bluehost create the password, so click the Generate Password button, and Bluehost will automatically create a secure password for your webmail account. And just a reminder, the username and password that you just created is what you'll use to log into your webmail account and access your blog's email from now on. Next, you'll wanna select your storage space and mailbox quota. Now, your mailbox quota determines the amount of disk space that the account may use to store email. A good rule of thumb is to start small and change the amount as you grow, but Bluehost only allows up to 100 megabytes of storage for each webmail account, so we'll leave the storage space as is. Next, I recommend leaving the send welcome email box checked. This will ensure that the additional webmail client configuration instructions are sent to you. Then after you've filled everything out, click the create button, and you'll get a notification letting you know that your email account has been successfully created. 
All right, next, you'll need to configure your email client. So to do that, click the check email link next to your blog's email address that you just created. And this is basically logging you into your webmail for the first time. And once logged in, it's time to configure your email client. And your email client is the back end of your webmail. This is where you'll read, sort, delete, and configure your email and email settings. Now, Bluehost states that if you've already chosen a default webmail application, you'll automatically be logged in. But if you haven't selected one yet, which we haven't, you'll have three options for webmail clients that are built into your account. And you can see them listed at the top of the screen. There's Horde, Roundcube, and Squirrel Mail. And each webmail client works extremely well, but they have different features. And Roundcube is the most popular, but swing by the Bluehost help desk if you want to learn more about each email client. And I'll put a link to the help desk in the show notes below this video. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm going to select Roundcube. So click the Roundcube logo to set it as the default mail client. There we go. Then to check it out, click that logo again. And boom, your professional email that is using your domain name is now set up. So now every time you log into your Bluehost email account, this is where you'll be taken and is what your email inbox will look like. And you should have one email in your new inbox, the configuration settings email from Bluehost. This is just to show you the default settings of your new account, but it also shows you the new email address is functional and working properly. All right, now before we move on to the autoresponder, I want to show you how you'll access your webmail whenever you need to check your email. So you actually already did it by clicking on the check email link within your email account management page, but you can also check your domain's webmail by logging in directly to the Bluehost login portal. And again, I'll put a link to the portal in the show notes below the video, but this is just like whenever we accessed our Bluehost account at the beginning of the video. It's pretty much the same process. You'll click the login and the primary nav, which will take you to this screen. But the only difference from earlier is that you'll want to make sure that you have webmail login selected when logging into your blog's email. Then enter the email account name and password that you just created a little while back and click login. And that will bring you to your blog's inbox. All right, next, let's add an autoresponder. So an autoresponder is pretty much what it sounds like. It's an automated email response that will be sent out as soon as an incoming email is received in your new inbox. This is super helpful when fielding emails from your blog because it sets the tone that you care about your audience's inquiries and it gives you some additional time to respond, especially if you're receiving a lot of emails to your blog. All right, so to get started with that process, click the manage link next to your blog's email address. Then within the email account management page, under the I want to section, click the send automated responses link. And this will take you to the autoresponder setup page. And the first thing you'll want to do is select the domain that you want to associate this autoresponder with. So under the managing drop down menu, select your domain. There we go. Then to get started, click the Add Autoresponder button. And this is where we'll start to set up and modify the actual autoresponder email sequence. So the first thing you'll see are some suggested tags to use in the body of your autoresponder email. I'm not going to be using any of these because I'll be writing everything out. But if you want to use these tags in the body of the message, these are some tags available to use. Below that is the character set. And without getting into the weeds, by default, it should be set to UTF-8. And most internet users encounter the UTF-8 character set. And it offers many benefits that other character sets lack. So I recommend just leaving this as is. Next is the interval. And this is where you'll set the number of hours to wait between responses to the same email address. For example, if you set up an autoresponder with an interval of 24 and you receive an email from someone at 8 a.m. on Monday, the autoresponder immediately responds to that message. But if the same person continues to email you throughout the day, the autoresponder does not send another response for 24 hours after the initial email. Then if that same person emails you again after the 24 hour interval expires, the system sends them an autoresponder email. So, long winded reason, but I'm gonna set this as 24 hours. 
So in the interval field, type 24. Next is the email field, and this is where the autoresponder will come from. So simply enter the email account name that we just created, and make sure that your domain is selected below that. Next is the from field, and I'm just gonna enter bin, but this is what will display whenever people see who the email is from. So be sure that it correlates with your blog or your blog's title. Next is the subject. I'm just gonna say, thanks for reaching out. Then below that is the body. And this is what people will see whenever they open the email. And I've already created an email, so I'm just gonna paste it in the body section but these autoresponder emails are great opportunities to generate leads, drive traffic to something like your YouTube page, or even promote content. For example, this autoresponder says, hello and thanks for your email. Yes, this is an automated response, but you'll receive a personal reply from me within 24 to 48 hours. In the meantime, did you know that I have a weekly newsletter? Yep, you heard it right. A weekly dose of all your favorite content sent right to your inbox. Now to ensure that you don't miss out on any of the good stuff, sign up for my newsletter here. Like I said, I'll be sure to get back to you within a day or so. Thanks, Ben. Now I didn't add a link in the email to the newsletter, but again, that's where you would obviously wanna add a link to your opt-in form or landing page that captures emails for your newsletter. All right, then below that are the start and stop times. I'm gonna leave this as is because I want this to run every time someone tries to contact the blog. So leave immediately and never selected. And now that everything is set, let's go ahead and click the Create Modify button. And you should get a notification that the autoresponder for your blog's email has been successfully created. Perfect, next, let's test it out. So I'm gonna simply send a test email to my blog's new email account that I just created. So I'm gonna go to my personal Gmail account and send a test email to trigger the autoresponder that we just set up. So again, this is from my Gmail account and I'm sending it to the Ben's new blogging video email address that we just created. There we go, and as you can see, after a few seconds, I received the automated email response from my blog's email address. Awesome. So there it is, now that you know how to create an email address using your blog's domain, you'll not only look more professional, but you'll be segmenting your emails in a way that will let you be much more efficient. Additionally, by implementing the autoresponder, you're setting the tone with your audience and letting them know that you care about their inquiries. This might seem like a small detail, but it can really benefit you in the long run by keeping the line of communication open with your blog's visitors. So that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.